Welcome back to New England Living. Up next, we're heading to Mansfield, Mass to learn how to update your aging kitchen. In what ways did you tailor this kitchen to the family's lifestyle? So the family is really big on cooking, baking, and the kitchen beforehand just wasn't going to flow as they needed it to, to do what they wanted. We created this 11-foot island with a prep sink in the back, right across from the standard kitchen sink, which is going to be ease of coming from one to the other. Also right by the range, she can kind of get all of her prepping done at the end of the kitchen with still having seating at the end for friends and family when they are over. This is a two-tone kitchen. What were the tricks to blending that walnut hood seamlessly with these white countertops? In these countertops, you can see that there's a very faint, almost warm brown tones that pick up the beautiful stained walnut cabinetry that she has here on the island. Carrying that finish from one place to another carries your eye, they complement each other. All of these colors scream New England to me. What are some of the trends that you're seeing these days? So, the brush golds, the matte colors are definitely becoming more popular. The blues and the golds are more of that nautical theme. Having that kitchen sink right by the range is definitely a good sense of design. Over by the range, we have the pot filler, so if she's making a huge pasta dinner one night or making lobsters, you gotta fill that huge pot. No one wants to lug that around. In the upper cabinets, they have tilt-up cabinets. Those were originally double doors, so we wanted to make a little bit of a cleaner look by creating one single door. In a project like this, how crucial is it to find the right partners to work with, and how do you go about that? So working with Supply New England's Kitchen and Bath Gallery, you can get everything that you need in, in one place. Cabinetry, countertops, your faucets, your fixtures, flooring. Being able to have one place to do that and coordinate with the designer, the builder, and the homeowner being all on the same page just makes that process a little bit more flawless and easy. We're here today talking about the remodel of this beautiful kitchen here behind us. What was your role in this? So my role was to meet with the homeowners and uh, create a vision of what would become their new home. What were some of the main goals that you were hoping to achieve? So we wanted a couple focal points. Certainly the, the hood was something from the beginning that we knew we wanted to highlight. And the other thing that really changed the scope of how we were able to attack this project was we wanted a large island. And we wanted the island to have form, flow, function. And what happened with this project was that the original space we had did not suit what we needed to do. So we ended up putting on a small addition to make the space work for the kitchen that we see now. The three F's in design, form, function, and flow, how are we seeing those at play here? In a kitchen like, like this, you need to make sure that you have your workstations. You're gonna make sure that you're comfortable in front of your sink, and you gotta make sure that your stove and your sink and your fridge and your main work areas are close enough in proximity that they work, but not where you're bundled together. You wanna make sure that you have space where if you do have seating that you can sit down and, and you can enjoy that space without needing to scooch over and move. That's not what we're looking for at all. You spend so much time working on this kitchen, so this may be a tough question to answer, but do you have a favorite part? I probably have two, two favorites, I think, when I look at this kitchen and, and living through the creation of it. First, the highlight would be, I, I do love the, the hood over the stove. It's because it's something unique, it's a little bit different, and it doesn't play completely off of the cabinetry. Everything's airy and light and white, and I love that it's not. And I love the curvature of it. I think it's just such a fine detail that makes a big difference. The second thing I love about the, this kitchen is the solid stone everywhere. To have it on a full backsplash, not only the full backsplash, but also sills and jams and the whole window surround, I really like that unique detail. As far as design trends that you're noticing, what are you seeing here in New England? So design trends, you do see a lot going towards white and airy and tones, but I think what you have to always keep in mind is just the balance of what a kitchen can become or the balance of any design within a home remodel that you do. I certainly can use this kitchen as an example. I think of a, of a balance is you have the white and, and airy cabinetry, but you also have the walnut feature points. That's a design trend that you are seeing, and I hope we see more of that because I think that's something that will be very unique moving forward and I think makes a big difference in a kitchen or any remodel. Breathing new life to your aging kitchen doesn't have to be a complicated process. You don't necessarily have to redo your entire kitchen. You can update just the faucets, the hardware. You can even update the countertops if you wanted to. That's something that you can do without having to rip out your entire kitchen, redoing the cabinetry, and still can really make a big difference without having to do a full remodel. Coming up after the break, we're heading to the great indoors for a look at a one-of-a-kind cabin makeover when New England Living returns after this. <laughs>